What's up, guys? It's your it's your boy Noah Nelson. It's your boy Jason it's Melby. Your boy. As you can tell, I'm super sunburnt. So recently, I started working at uh, Lake Elsinore Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram with Jason. It's your boy. It's your boy. So today we have something really special for you guys. Uh, the GM of the dealer was nice enough to trust me and Jason with the keys to this 2019 wide body Hellcat. So he actually gave us the red key for it also. So 717 horsepower. Just so you guys know we're not messing around. We got two red keys here, which allows us to go into track mode. Which you guys will be able to, which you guys will be able, be able to, to uh, here in a minute. See, <laughs> you gotta build the suspense. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. Suspense. You know what I'm saying? The suspense. Yeah, yeah. So as you guys can see, obviously it's gonna have some massive Brembo brakes on it. Uh, I believe these are 20-inch wheels with 305s all around. Uh, I personally really, really, really do like the wide-body version of this car. It makes it stand out a little more compared to just a normal Dodge Challenger. So this gives you a good idea. You can see it driving down the road and you're like, that's that's a 2019 wide that's body Hellcat. That's a 2019 Hellcat. wide body Hellcat exactly. right there. There's so, no so it's a similar vehicle obviously, but it's going to have the little bit of differences. Uh, Coming to the back, it has this nice little rocket bunny looking duck bill, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, Dude, this and, is a drag wing right but here. This, this is but a drag it has wing? a built in backup camera. Built in backup camera? It's, it's a race car. But you still have your luxuries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Who, who doesn't want their luxuries? So, uh, this thing is pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Obviously, it has, it's got its, uh, it's got its vented hood. So, that's a solid extra 17 horsepower. How, how much power does this make, Jason? 700, and then since it has the vented hood, 717. Exactly. See, it's always those horsepower points. Slap a couple stickers on this thing, it'll be at 1,000, no problem. Ooh. Let's pop the hood. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Can't do forget, it one-handed. <laughs> forget that there's a latch on this. I'm not. I'm used to a race car. Come on. All right. So we have this massive, massive supercharger. Know, this is a 6.2 liter V8 Hemi with a massive. I mean, massive. <laughs> massive. Get it right. <laughs> so yeah, this thing looks very, very nice. Obviously, this car is uh, its a little bit of a heavier car compared to most uh, most sports cars, so it has to have all of that extra power. So yeah, an engine is an engine, but really what counts is how well it performs. So we are definitely, definitely taking it out on the road. We're going to, uh, we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna see what this uh, 717 horsepower really feels like. But before that, I wanna show you guys the inside of this thing. So not only does it have a gnarly engine, not only does it look good, not only does it have big brakes, but uh, it actually has Alcantara inside the vehicle. I say, I say Alcantara, he Alcantara. says Alcantara. I don't really know which one it is, you guys. Leave you know it down what? in the comments just, just below. Just call it suede, just call it suede. It's not suede though. But it's very similar. Okay, whatever, besides the fact. <laughs> So you get your nice uh, stitched in SRT with the Hellcat emblem. These seats are super, super, super comfortable. It's not like a typical racing seat or like you might find in like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini where it's like super tight and cramped. Any size person can fit in this seat. So that's what's really nice about these vehicles. Just looking out the door right here. Like it's the little things that count on this car. The Alcantara right here with like a nice leather touch has a little chrome door handle. It's all the little things that really it's count. It's not just chrome, Noah. This is black chrome. Black chrome. They really paid attention to detail on this car and it stands out in the smallest details. So they took chrome and then they made it black. Black chrome. <laughs> <laughs> but coming into the inside, so it is an automatic. Most of the Hellcats are going to be automatic unless you usually special order a manual one. Not a lot of people nowadays like to drive stick. They like to have the luxury of an automatic. Personally, I would like a manual. What about you, Jason? It's not just ordering it though. These manual Hellcats are insanely hard to find. And in 2019, I don't even think they made it. Yeah, so correct us if we're wrong, but I don't know if they even make the manual anymore. As you guys saw, the new Corvette is gonna be only automatic too. It kind of seems like most car manufacturers are heading towards that way. But besides the fact, this thing is really, really fast. So uh, all the car manufacturers, when they're switching to automatic, they've really been focusing on the automatic transmission. So this thing shifts really, really quick. The zero to 60 on it is 3.4 seconds. And you saw how massive 
how massive this that car is. is. 3.4 seconds is really, really quick for this car. So it definitely get, gets up and goes and uh, they actually handle really, really nice. So here, let me, uh, let's let's see that red key. Let's see that red key real quick. Let's key. let's see the red key. You wanna see the red key? Oh, baby. Blue face baby. <laughs> yeah, I, red face baby. baby, here we go. This key is actually leather. It has like a leather touch. I don't know if, it, no, it's plastic, but it kind of looks like leather and it kind of feels like leather. Kind of weird how you could say leather feels like plastic, but you get what I'm saying. So let's uh, let's get a little startup on this thing. Oh, super nice. So as you can see right here, we have it in, uh, it's partial street, partial track. You can click full track and now everything's track on, paddle shifters are on and you have your full 717 horsepower when you have the red key. So. That's what's really cool about this car is like, let's say you had, you let's say you bought this vehicle, you could have your red key and your black key and someone wants to drive it, you give them the black key, you don't know how well they are gonna be at driving, so they have a little less horsepower. But for yourself, you keep that red key, you keep that you keep that red key you on you. You keep that red thing you on you. You keep that red thing on you. So this thing, uh, this thing's really, really cool. Um, obviously, it needs to warm up a little bit before we drive it, but uh, it's, it's getting there. So once it gets a little bit warmer, I'm gonna do a little rev right now. It sounds like a Hellcat. That was only to 4,000 RPMs, and this thing goes to a solid 5,800. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like my rotary, obviously. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, maybe you're new to the channel, I have an RX-7 FD, so I'm uh, I'm used to the rotary seat, not the V8, so this is definitely going to be a different, uh, diff different vibe. So enough of that. I feel like I've talked about the car uh, a good enough amount to where now I just want to drive it. Um, if you guys want a more full in-depth video on the vehicle, talking about all the options and features, I can do that on the next one. Just leave a comment down below if that's what you want to see. So Jason, Jason, where are you yeah, at? I'm right here. We're about to go drive this thing. Let's let's go see what 717 horsepower feels like. Let's see like. what it feels like. You're gonna put it in manual mode or you're gonna leave it in uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going in manual mode. Come on, what, what do you think this is? I don't know if no one else can, uh, can drive with paddle shifters, you know what I mean? Yo, yo, dude, dude, the wine. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, those downshifts are so crisp. Yo. So crisp. I don't think I've ever driven an automatic with a transmission this good. This is a first for sure. Obviously, I've never driven a GTR or a Ferrari, but this is very, very good. This is our first time in the car. This is insane so far. Were, were you full throttle on that? No, no. That was I was like probably quarter throttle. Quarter throttle. Insane. This thing is really, really nice. Wow. I would totally drive one of these Dude, every day. I would daily. I'm not gonna lie. I told Jason before this. Wait, wait. Let's get some downshifts. Oh, dude. Oh, oh dude. wow. Dude. This thing is insane. Well, watch where you're going, man. Me? Yeah. I, I was going through. I was. I was driving perfect. All right. All right. All right, so one of the things about this vehicle is that it like, it feels so tame. It's 717 horsepower, but like, it's just so well put together that it doesn't feel as gnarly as it really is. The speed that you're going, you don't realize until you look down at the speedometer. That's how well built this car is. So Dodge, hands down, I give it to you guys. This thing is really nice. We're just cruising on the street right now and it is super quiet, all the windows are up. It's a really nice ride. It's not super stiff and bouncy or anything. It's pretty plush, it feels good. Sorry guys, I'm super into this right now. This is, I'm just trying to soak it all in. We, we're getting an average of 13.3 miles to the gallon. Oh, Dude. a couple downshifts, you ready? Yo. Yo, Yo you can hear the supercharger Yo. whine. You legit can hear it whine when you downshift. That is such a cool noise. Legit just spun the tires. That was nothing. With one with one hand on the wheel. I just just gave it a little throttle. Just whap, gone. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, guys, these are three fifty or sorry, three oh fives on twenty inch wheels. So just imagine how much rubber's on the ground, and it's a three oh five all the way around. So you have a nice square setup if you were gonna go and uh, take it on the canyons. Which honestly, at first I was like, there's no way you could do that with this car. After driving it, you totally could. 
this totally thing is, could. This thing's very well built. Me and Noah kind of think the same way about cars, and we always thought that Challengers were more of like a drag car. They're made to go fast in a straight line, which they which, are. Yeah, which they, they, they are meant for, but, that, but they, they refined it though. Like they all did, around. they really did. The handling on it is really good. Wow, I'm I'm very impressed with this car. Like very. Like just give a little little rundown of all this right here. Dude, like the whole interior is so nice. It's almost like a luxury car, but it's a race car. Yeah. From factory, which blows my mind. It has a, such a nice steering wheel. It's all leather. Dude, having nice paddle shifters is so weird. Like you just give it a little flick and you just like one-handed, like you saw, I just upshift the little flick and it's just whoop gone. Like <laughs> this thing is amazing. Oh, there's so many cool features about this. Oh, I don't even know what to say. It's just, wow, this thing's cool. Well, we're coming up to the spot where, where he can do a little pull on it. We're and I'm going to Mexico very, really quick. We're going very to Mexico. excited. Yeah, just so you guys know, don't, don't do this in America. Go to Mexico if you're ever going to perform any stunts or give it a little gas. Like I said, Mexico. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we get there. We gotta cross the border and deal with all this stuff, so I'll just. All right, guys, we just got to Mexico and he's about to do a pull. Ready? I'm Set. ready, I'm Let's ready, go. I'm ready. Go, go, go. <laughs> Dude. Oh my <laughs> Dude, it God. just keeps going. Oh my God. It just keeps going. Dude, just listen to the downshifts. Let's pull in the dealer. Yeah, let's go back to the dealer. Well, wow. Dude, we can't go to the dealer yet. We're still in Mexico. That's facts. <laughs> All right. Okay, we just we just we just teleported to the to the dealer. <laughs> we got here real quick. <laughs> now we're gonna do a little uh, little walk around of the car. Obviously, you guys just saw our impression. That was uh, that was amazing. That was really really cool. Backup camera, just so you guys know. Dude, the steering, the steering, the heavy steering, like what you were telling me about, is yeah, really nice. It is so nice. It feels, it's it's a perfect in-between of having manual steering and power steering, I guess you could say. It just, I don't know, It's I like I said, guys, I'm so impressed with the way that this feels, it's unreal. Yeah. Let's, let's get out, let's let's go look at these tires. I wanna show you guys that I'm not lying, that these, that these things really are 305s. Like, I don't know all the specs on this vehicle, I'm just driving it and having fun, but, it's it's really nice. It has a tack that goes to 200. I'm really curious how fast you could really go. What do you think? How fast? Honestly, you could dude, go? I think it's a little over 200. Yeah. I was doing a little research and I don't remember what it was because it's been a while since I since I looked it up. But I'm pretty sure it was a little over 200 miles per hour. Yeah. Oh, we got a moonroof. And you got a moonroof. Oh, oh, blue face baby. Yeah. I... Red key baby. Yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, guys, I'm lost for words. Noah Nelson is speechless for the first time in YouTube history. I personally do not like V8s, and he knows I know, this. I know. Everyone knows this. I don't like V8s, but you're the rotary man. This thing, I would not mind driving all the time. Like, definitely not mind driving it. So, God, it's just it blows my mind, dude. It, it blows my mind how smooth it is and how nice everything is, but how fast it is. Yeah, dude, the noises, the bat, like. The downshift, the, downshift, the, the transmission. Crackles. Imagine if you had an exhaust on this thing. It would be unreal. If this thing like, was straight piped, it would be unreal loud. Oh my. But it would sound so good. Yeah, oh. it, it would be pretty, pretty crazy. But, uh, oh, okay. So, like I was saying earlier in the vehicle, it, 305 3520s. 305 3520s. That's some meat. That's some good meat. That's a square setup right there. That's a, that's a good amount of meat. That's a whole lot of meat. You like meat? I do like meat. I like meat. I'm depends what kind of meat, <laughs> what kind of meat we're talking about. I mean, I like you like rubber? I like tires. Yeah, tires are dope. <laughs> okay, you guys get what we're what, saying. Wait, what kind of rubber are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about tires. What are you what are you talking about? I'm talking about the cum that comes in a small square shiny package. Stop, stop. <laughs> you guys didn't even hear what he said. It, it it bleeped out. This thing is amazing. Dodge, you killed it. You did really really good. If you guys want a full review on all the specs, I'll do my research. I'll try to make another cool video. Uh, driving it was awesome. Like I said, thank you again so much to Lake Elsinore, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. You guys are the best. I really appreciate you. 
Don't forget to hit us up if you want to buy a car. Oh yeah, hit us up, hit us up, hit us up. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe also. Help your boy out. He's, um, I'm trying, I'm trying guys. I'm trying to make videos. I'm trying to work so I can create better content for you guys. Enough blabbering, I'll see you guys in the next video. We got mid Mike with it. Mid Mike with it. Mid, mid Mike with it. <laughs>